If your question is, which urban planning book should I read first? This is my answer. Hey, it's me, and I am excited to launch the new urban planning video book report series. And welcome to my new studio. It's a bit shit right now, but don't worry about that because it's going to be progressing along with the reviews. So stay tuned. It's no accident that I chose Walkable City to be the first book in the series. A of all, Walkable City examines every major aspect of cities and planning and ties them all together nicely with the threat of walkability. And second, there are no prerequisites for this book. If you have ever walked or seen someone walk, then you are more than qualified to pick up Walkable City and start reading. And finally, just because it's an approachable book does not mean that it's light on information. This was the required text for one of my graduate level urban planning classes. And I think that's at the heart of why the book is so good. It's difficult to write a high level, information dense book that's also accessible to the masses. And Spec has done just that. Spec starts out with a brief explanation of why he wrote the book, then lays out his general theory of walkability, and we start to get a good understanding of how exactly he thinks about cities. He then talks about the bad things that happen when you don't live somewhere walkable, which is basically all of America. Spoiler alert, Cars are bad if you're addicted to them. And with that, we get to the meat of the book, the 10 steps of walkability. The 10 steps are an absolute deluge of ideas and examples. And again, because every step is examined through the lens of walkability, it never feels like a disjointed top 10 list. Walkable City was published in 2012, and I'm filming this in 2017. For better or for worse, cities change slowly, and even the most progressive cities still fall way short of what's laid out herein. Most cities have made no progress, and some have even moved backwards, so the subject matter is definitely still relevant. By and large, the examples are fresh. It's not like human behavior has changed in the last five years, and walking is definitely a human behavior. However, there are two outdated examples that I would like to talk about. Lodo is Denver's lower downtown neighborhood, and Speck devotes about a page to it in the book and he raves about what a huge planning success it was despite the empty historic rail station. Well, things around these parts have changed a little bit since then. And definitely for the better. With great fanfare, the station reopened in 2014 and all of Speck's 10 steps were applied, mostly. I've previously made a whole video on how I feel about cars in front of Union Station. Today, the station is both the largest transit hub in the region and the hippest gathering spot in the city. The surface parking lot that was here is now a plaza, and mixed uses are everywhere, all leading to an even more dramatic increase in walkability since Spec's visit. In all fairness to the author, this is one of my favorite things about cities. They're never done. For walkable cities, Spec takes super relevant examples from all across space-time and organizes them into the 10 steps that I mentioned before. Obviously, this was the right way to organize the book because it has become one of the most revered books about urban planning ever. Speck definitely created something. The thing about being something, however, is that then there are infinity minus one things that you're not. And one of the things that this book is definitely not is a story. I bring this up because the second outdated example I want to talk about is when a New York City transportation chief started taking lanes away from cars and giving them to bikes. Obviously, the obstructionist groups got hot under the collar and sued the city about it. The case was resolved after Walkable City went to print, so we get no resolution here. Lucky for you, that transportation chief was Jeanette Sadek Khan, and she wrote a whole book on the matter along with the bajillion other amazing things she did during her six plus year tenure. Unlike Walkable City, Street Fight is a story. It's a story of walkability changes made to one city over time. It takes that one example from Walkable City and blows it up so you get the whole backstory and the resolution. At first, I thought Speck was just using walkability as a clever literary device to tie disparate civic issues together between two covers. But after reading it for the fourth time and seriously overanalyzing it for this report, I realized just how perfect using walkability is. Walkability ties everything together so well in the book because walking ties everything together so well in reality. We are pedestrians in between everything we do in the city, even if it's just between a parking garage and work, our bike in transit, or our car in the gym. Walking literally connects everything in the city. I would even go so far as to say it's the fifth F of evolutionary psychology, 
fighting, fleeing, feeding, sexy time, and flaneuring. We have come to the point in the video where I tell you exactly why you need to subscribe. UPVBR number two, if you haven't guessed yet, will be on Street Fight. These two books complement each other so well, but more on that and more on what walkability isn't next time. Thanks for watching. I am really excited to finally get this series off the ground. Obviously, like I said, Street Fight is number two. I've already started reading number three. If there are any urban planning books that you would like me to review, please let me know. I have a list of planning books that I would like to review. They are in an Amazon wish list, and there's a link to that in the description. I also have a Patreon account with some fun rewards, or you can just click that subscribe button. Honestly, any of those three things would be great. If you liked this, please share it with your urbanist friends. If you didn't like it, share it with your suburban friends. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time for Street Fight.